Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain you the most important key combinations in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. Watch till the end because in the end I have a nice surprise for you. Enjoy this video and let's get started. One of the most important key combinations and keys on your keyboard is definitely the Enter key. With the Enter key you can confirm your inputs. Here we are right now in the general table display in the transaction code SE16N and in here we can type in a table. So for example if I type in the echo it's a table that contains information about purchase orders and then I hit the Enter key on my keyboard then I confirm this input is will be taken over. What is another possibility to use this function? You could also click on this button in the toolbar. So for example, if I would like move would like to move to another table, so for example TSTCT, and then I could also click on this button to take over my inputs. And then furthermore, what we also can do is hit the F8 key on our keyboard. You could also click on this online button in the toolbar or hit the F8 key on your keyboard. And then what is basically done in this case, it executes the selection and it executes the report. Then if you want to, with the key combination control S, you can save your input. So basically in this case, if I go one step back and then I use control S or this button, then in this case, I can save my input to a screen report. I've recorded a very detailed video about screen reports. Um, you can watch in detail, but basically in this case we can save our input into a screen variant or in most cases you can save your inputs into a database table. So if you're in transaction code and then you can save it. And to open up a new window you can use the key combination control N or control plus on your keyboard. If you want to, you could also click on this button, new GUI window to open up a new window. I will close this for a second. If you want to, you can go one step back with the F3 key on your keyboard or click on this button. If we're going once again to the SE16N, with this button, you can exit a transaction or you could also use the key combination shift and F3. If we're going again to the data browser, here we have, based on these three buttons, another very important key, the F12 key. And there you can cancel a transaction or an execution. Then it is really important that you can set the focus into the command field with the key combination control shift and seven. So for example, if I go in once again to the data browser, now we can see that the focus is in this input field for entering a table name. And then if I use control shift and seven, then you can see that the cursor has moved or the focus has moved from this input field to this input field. And then you can directly move over to another transaction code and you don't have to move your mouse cursor into this field click into this field you can directly start working and moving from one tra transaction to another one here we are in a transaction code me23n and in here you can use the f1 key on your keyboard to open up the documentation of this input field so i set the focus to delivery completed and then you will see that this checkbox is an indicator that indicates that the item is to be regarded as closed and if you click on this button in the toolbar technical information then you will see more detailed technical information about this input field so for example if you're stuck and you don't know what to do then hit the F1 key after you have set the focus of this graphical user interface element and then you will see nice descriptions and if you want to set the focus on a button but you don't want to execute the function behind it then you can click 
on this button and then move your cursor away and then you can drop your mouse button and then you've set the focus as we see right here and then you can hit f one key on your keyboard and then you will get a nice detailed technical information about this element. Here we are right now in the MM03 transaction code to display materials. And here we can see based on this loop icon right next to this input field that you can use the F4 help with the F4 key on your keyboard. So you can hit the F4 key on your keyboard and then you will open up this window where you can search for different materials so for example you can do a wildcard search with asterisk and asterisk then you can hit the enter key and now you see different materials and with double click you can take this over a nice hint on that side if you uh, use equal and then for example test and test hit the enter key then you're doing exactly the same what i've done so here we see that the first input is being used for the uh, for help with the equal sign in front of so we don't have to hit the for key on your keyboard then type in your search you can directly use the search criteria with the equal sign but this just works for the first input field in the selection window so here we're right now in this tab material number material description and here we're seeing that the first input field is being used so material description and not for example the language key or the material if i would move to another tab with different input fields so for example this one then this time not the material description is being used but the old material number so keep in mind you can use this if you've selected one tab and then next time this first input field will be used with the key combination control y you can select a word or a sentence in the sap gui so for example here i open up search sap menu to search for a node in the menu and then for example if i type in abab then i'm seeing all the nodes that contain abab in the text and here for example if i would like to copy this transaction code then i know i set the focus and then i can use the key combination control c to copy it and with control y i can paste it and believe me i have used those two key combination control c and control v but here control c control v but this doesn't work because i haven't selected this word because i should rather use control y and then you might have recognized that the cursor has changed to this the cross and then i can move and click over this word and then i can use control c and then with control v i can paste this in here we are right now in the transaction called myro for entering incoming invoices and here we have a date field and with the two key combinations f4 and then afterwards f2 you can directly use the current date so today is the 28th of december 2022 and then i hit f4 then the for help is opened and then i use f2 and then the current date is filled in great as mentioned here i have summarized the most important key combinations in sap and sap s for hana for you you can make screenshots and please try them out you will be a lot faster and you can work easier with the sap system thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have some questions comment in this video and now i would like to know what are your most important key combinations in the sap system you can also subscribe for free to not miss any upcoming interesting videos thank you very much and see you in the next video